Is Google penalizing your site because you have duplicate images or images Google feels are not relevant to your niche? Hi, this is Roy Ryer from SEO Training SW.com and the SEO Roadmap. I'm sure that you've heard of Google's duplicate content penalty in regard to the written content on your website. However, did you also know that having images on your site that also appear on other sites could negatively impact your rankings? If you've read Google's Quality Control Guidelines policy dated back in March of 2011, you'll also know that Google has a certain amount of disdain towards affiliate websites. So wouldn't it make sense that if Google finds a lot of images that are duplicated on other websites, that they may also suspect that you're an affiliate? Here is how you can check for duplicate images on your website. The color profiles of an image are the DNA of that image. To demonstrate this in our first example, we will use a Google Places image that we modified for a webinar. We will then go to Google's image search and click on the camera icon. We will then paste in the URL of our image. Notice in the image search results that Google's best guess for what this image represents is Google's favorite place. Also note that Google found visually similar images. Also note that even though I slightly modified it a bit by resizing the image and adding some text about our webinar, Google lists this page includes matching images. In the example I just demonstrated, Google did not penalize this page, and in fact, it's ranking very well for a number of its very competitive keyword phrases. This may be because the content on this page is unique, and because the image was relevant to the content on that page. Now, if you're an affiliate, or you sell other people's stuff on your website, here's what can get you into trouble with duplicate content and duplicate images. For this example, we're going to go to the product page of the Redline Radar Detector on the Escort Radar website, and I'm going to copy the text that introduces this product into my clipboard. Now, we're going to paste it into Google's search box, and we can see that Google returns over 3,430 other pages. In reviewing most of these sites, we see that not only are they using 100% of the written content from the Escort website, they're also using the exact same image from the product page. Now let's look at the content on one of my affiliate websites, RadarDetector.org, for the Escort Redline Radar Detector. Here you'll see that all the written content for this page is 100% unique. The product image of the Redline was modified with Photoshop, and it was optimized for SEO purposes. Two videos were created, optimized, and uploaded to YouTube. And here are the results for a very competitive keyword term used when searching for information about the red line. Finally, let's discuss stock images and why they can be bad business for your website. In this example, let's use a stock image I'm sure you've seen many times from Shutterstock's website. Using Google's image search, we can see that Google's best guess for this image is customer service. We can also see in Google that this matching image was found on over 537 websites. Now let's consider that you use the same stock image that Google feels is relevant to customer service on a page that was not relevant to this topic at all. Wouldn't you think that this might confuse Google? Now please don't assume that all duplicate images on your website are bad, because some can actually help with your rankings. Here are some examples. If you're an e-commerce website, or if you want your affiliate website to appear as an e-commerce website, consider adding some of these images or logos to your site. Consider joining the Better Business Bureau so you can add their BBB logo to your site. Add a shopping cart logo to the top of all your pages with a link to your shopping cart. If you take credit cards like Visa and MasterCard, add their logo to your site. Now these are some takeaways I'd like you to take away from this video and our article on duplicate images. Google's search by image is based on the color profile of the image. Thus, you can change the DNA of the image by changing the color, adding other elements to the image, 
or reversing the landscape. If you do use a duplicate image or a slightly modified image, make sure that all your other content is unique but still relevant to that image. To avoid the duplicate image penalty altogether, use unique images and photos of your products, brand, and staff. You're also going to avoid the perception that you're lying to your audience by using images which they know are stock. Some duplicate or similar images might be beneficial to your site. An example, having an image or a photo of a coffee cup that Google feels is similar to coffee on a website for a coffee shop. Optimize all your images and other multimedia on your website and other duplicate or similar images on your site that represent branding and or trust are good, such as having Visa, a MasterCard, or a Better Business logo. Now, I have a favor I'd like to ask from you. As you can see, we put a lot of time and effort in creating these free articles and videos that we feature on our website, seotrainingsw.com. So in turn, I would like to ask from you if you found this video or any of our other videos or articles on our site helpful, please take the time to Facebook like them, to Google Plus them, or add them to LinkedIn or Twitter. Use the icons found to the left of this article. Or if you're watching this video on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up and become a subscriber to our channel. Do you have any comments or questions regarding this article on Google's duplicate image penalty? If so, please use the comment area below. This is Roy Ryer from SEO training SW .com. Thank you for watching and you have a great day.